Verse 8 of Proverbs chapter 1 says, Listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. So in Proverbs, we see that we get both instruction and teaching through Solomon's words. Solomon saw all the issues that were going on with this kingdom. He saw all the struggles that were out there. And so they wrote all of these sayings down to help not just the people of his kingdom, but for generations and generations to come. Earlier this week, we talked about how there's something that your mom or your dad had said to you, something that you may even say today, something you told yourself you would never, ever, ever say. Here's something my dad shared with me. He said, you know what, John? At the end of the day, with everything you have, you have two choices. You can do it and like it, or you can do it. How do we do things? How do we choose to do things? I have chosen in my life to decide, you know what? For the most part, I'm going to do something and like it. There are things that I do that I don't enjoy doing, and I try to find God in those so that I can enjoy those different areas, so I can enjoy those different tasks. What are the tasks in your life that you may not like? Maybe it's your job. Maybe it's the people that you work with. Maybe it's, I don't know, God is in those tasks. He's in there somewhere with you and He wants you to gain knowledge from it. But at the same time, during those tasks, do we listen for His still small voice? Because when we listen for Him, we will gain instruction and He will teach us something through those times. And all of a sudden, things change a little bit. We look at things just a little bit differently because we look at them through God's eyes. We'll see you tomorrow.